Good morning, guys. Today is Wednesday, August 19th. And I was just sent home from work. Um, I want to document this from start to finish. I'm really emotional right now. I'm very upset. But I, I want to document this just in case anyone else ever has to go through this. Um, my work shift started at 6.30 this morning. I went in. Part of um, my job is screening people and screening myself. I went in, uh, I put my stuff down, I went up front, uh, I started filling out my screening paperwork, and you have to take your temperature. I take my temperature, and the first temperature is 101.3. Like, alright, this these thermometers are crap. I tap it on the table, <laughs> like that helps. I do it again, it's 101.3. At that point I start getting nervous, because I, I know I feel a little hot and I've had a really bad headache. Um, I've been getting headaches for a couple days. So, at this point, I can see, like, the one tech in the booth was looking at me, and I take it again, and now it's 100.3, not 101. So, they have another thermometer. I went over to them, and I said, like, can I see your thermometer? I take it, the first reading, it, it's high, but it wasn't a, a fever. It was uh, 99 point something. I'm like, oh, whew, I'm going to switch them out. Um, I take them both, and now on both of them, I fail. And it's 100.3 on the one and like 100 and 100.6 or I don't remember the second reading. So basically I keep getting a steady 100.3 on both thermometers. I asked the tech, can she take hers? And on both of hers she had passed. And a coworker had just come in and she had passed on the one that I'm failing on. So I asked them what to do. They tell me I have to call. Sorry, I keep looking that way. I'm watching Tyson. I'm like afraid to go in my house right now. Um... Uh, I've got a lot of things running through my mind right now. So, basically, after taking my temperature, I I'm going to say in upwards of 15 times, 16 times, it keeps coming out 100.3, 100.3. Um, it it bring blinks yellow or red. Excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> <coughs> that doesn't sound good, I know, but that's not related, I swear. I just have had this little tickle in my throat. So... Um, I messaged my supervisor and the texts were telling me like, hey, you know, you, ne you need to call Linda, like she's the main supervisor, you gotta call her too. So I call, I leave a message, she gets back to me in a few minutes and she says, alright, it's been taken. Um, and now I went outside and I'm like holding my iced coffee on my head trying to lower it, I would take it, it would be a little bit lower and then I'd wait a second and take it again it was back to 100.3, start freaking out. Um, I talked to my supervisor and she says, listen, like, it's okay, it's gonna be alright, you just have to, you have to go get tested and get cleared to come back into the building. So, immediately, like, a million things are running through my mind, like, I've done everything, everything, washing my hands, taking extra vitamins, drinking emergency, immunity drinks, eating healthy, constantly disinfecting that's my job at work i'm disinfecting all day long i've done everything in my power like everything to not get sick um my god i don't want to cry so i have the message from my other supervisor the one girl gives me the number um she tries to calm me down and she's like hey look 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 the mommers are messed up she took it and it was like 99 99.8 and it lowered but she doesn't realize I was holding my drink on my head. Um, I leave work. I call Mike, my significant other. I'm, I'm really upset and freaking out. He's trying to calm me down. My supervisor was sweet enough. She was messaging me like, it's going to be all right. Could be stress. It could be anything. Could be your period. But I don't have my period right now. Um, I've just been chalking everything up to stress. Like, I'm not listening to my body. Um... And I should have been. I've been getting really bad headaches. Um, my temperature has been off, but I've really just been chalking it up. Like, I'm stressed out. I have a lot going on. And that's what I thought it was. And I'm not going to jump and be like, oh, I'm COVID positive. But it's it's hard not to think that, like, something's wrong. So now I come home. I wash, get through all my clothes in the washer. Um grab alcohol, I'm disinfecting everything and the doorknobs, I have to wait till 9 o'clock to call anywhere so it's only like 7.50 right now, I still have like another hour to go and I'm scared, like I have to figure out where Stanley's gonna go, if I am sick, 
Um, I have a vacation next week. Who gives a shit about that? Like, I don't care if I have to quarantine. Like, I just don't want to be sick. I don't want to have to go to the hospital. I, I've seen, like, what this does to people. And I should have been listening. And I just want to make it, like... So the next person doesn't make the same mistake I did. And just ignore it. Um, I'm always, like, afraid to not go to work. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not afraid. Just, like, I want to be a good worker. And I feel guilty. I feel guilty that I'm, I'm sent home and I shouldn't, um, like, I can't control that. And I'm, like, trying to, like, just thinking back this morning, like, why the fuck was I, like, trying to, like, fix the thermometer, you know? Like, I go outside, even though I know I'm not supposed to do that, like, I'm trying to, st well, you're supposed to, like, go outside the building, but, like, I know I shouldn't have been taking my temperature outside and it wasn't dropping. So, right now, I just feel scared. I have a thousand things running through my mind, like, can my dog get it? I, like, don't want him near me right now. Um, nobody's home, thank God, but now I'm gonna have to call my family. Try to find somewhere that'll test me today, which, from what I'm looking up, doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. It might be, like, a day or two, which I can't live like this for a day or two, not with my mind. I do have a little cough, but that's usually just like from a tickle in my throat. I don't have any other symptoms. Like I've just been like a little tired, but I, my shift changed um, and I do a lot of work. So I don't know guys, I'm just gonna keep everybody, I'm gonna document this whole process from start to finish. And that way like someone else can be aware. Um, listen to your body, listen, because like I wasn't listening. I should have been like, at one point, I was taking Robitussin because I had a cough, but I always thought that was from the pool, to be honest. Like, uh, when I'm vacuuming the pool, I have to hold my breath over and over and over again to, like, go under and get everything. And usually, it's after I get out of the pool, I have a bad cough for the night um, because I'm a smoker and I think it's from holding my breath. But um, I haven't done that and I've still had this little cough. Now I'm nervous about that. Um, I'm nervous about, you know, where I was yesterday. I worried about my, my in-laws. Like, I go, I was over there. We take care of my grandfather who's in his 90s. Um, there's just so many things. Like, a five-year-old lives here. What am I going to do? Um, and these are things, like, when you hear about COVID, no one talks about, like, what, what's going through your mind. And I want to be the first one to actually, like, talk about it and just say, like, what I'm going through. I'm scared. Um... I'm alone right now. I don't know what to do. I mean, my significant other, he's wonderful. He's like, don't worry. It's going to be okay. Like, thankfully, I don't have to worry about the financial end of it right now. My work does help you out. Like, you have to go through HR. I just found that out. Um, which is, that's a huge relief because I, I was thinking, great, I'm going to have to use all my vacation time for COVID. I don't know. But, um, that's what's going on right now. Um, like I said, 9 o'clock, I have to wait to call places. I think I'm just going to go on the CVS website right now. Oh, another thing is when I came home, I took both of my thermometers out, and I do have a fever. Um, they're not reading 100.3. It's 101.3 on both of my thermometers at home. Um, so the first two readings were right, I guess. I don't want to take any Robitussin or anything right now because I, I, don't, I don't want to make it worse. I know I, I think it was Motra makes it worse and Tylenol I forget now so I don't want to take anything until I talk to somebody this morning and that's it guys that's where I'm at I'll keep everybody updated from start to finish how I'm feeling what's going on pray for me that I don't have COVID like I can't afford to have that right now like I can't afford my family can't afford that we can't I'm just stressed and it could be a number thing I could just be getting sick and that's it but because of the times when you just don't know like I just don't know um I'm gonna wait to talk to a doctor before I call any of my family and talk to them like I have to figure out if Alyssa can take stay oh my god I just don't know I really just don't know um and I'll talk to you guys later when I talk to a doctor and figure out where I'm getting tested how long it's gonna take and explain everything all the way through all right guys quick update it's 8 25 um i still have to wait till nine o'clock to call the place in the meantime i don't want them to tell me like they don't have anything for weeks out so i went on cbs's website and they have nothing for today or tomorrow but they do have something uh i got an appointment for 9 40 friday morning um so that's two days two days 
before I can get tested and then I have to wait until results so I'm really keeping my fingers crossed I can get in somewhere today um but again I have to wait till nine o'clock um if they don't have anything I'm gonna call my primary and see what she recommends but that's the update right now that's what's going on um <sighs> I have a headache uh, and I know it's like not the headaches I've been having like I'm just stressed out um I just talked to my sister to see maybe if she can take Stanley for a couple days to her boyfriends um yeah we'll see um and I'll keep you guys updated update it's almost 12 o'clock I'm taking my temperature every hour to every half hour right now uh, I just took my temperature we're at 100.3 uh, I took Tylenol around 9.40. All right, so I talked to the doctor. Um, remember, I made that appointment at CVS as a backup. I just got to walk when I'm talking, guys. I just feel... I feel anxious right now. Um, all right, so I call the doctor. This place, Tower Health. Um, someone else used them. So I call over there. I ask for an appointment. And she says, yeah, um, you need to call your primary, get a prescription. We'll see you today. I said, oh my gosh, great. I thankfully call my primary. And I explained to her the situation and that I need a prescription. And she, I don't know, they're usually great over there. But she was just like, well, I'm confused. We don't do COVID, anything over here. Um, you're going to have to get that through your work. So I'm like, there's no way she can just write me a prescription. Like, I don't get it um, because Tower Health or whatever gave me the fax number for them to fax it over. All right, fine. Call my supervisor over at my work. Um, she tells me to call over to the doctor that's in our building um, because, you know, where I work, we have a doctor on site. Um, I call. I leave a message for her. I'm still waiting to hear back. But basically... Uh, I called Tower Health and explained that my primary can't give me this prescription. So she says, listen, I can't get a, a, a letter from your HR department, but I need something from your work. A formal, oh God, what has she called it now? I don't know. A, a, a formal thing stating that, I guess she didn't realize we had a doctor on site. So she said, I need a formal thing stating that you need to be tested in order to come back for work. But it needs like a formal letterhead. And it can't just be like a type letter from HR. So I explained that to my supervisor. Um, and I was like, is there any way instead of getting that, like we can ask the doctor to write me a prescription over there. So fingers crossed, that's what we can do. Um, I called back. I explained, you know, I'm just waiting to hear back from the doctor. If I can get a fax over today, could I come in? And she said, you know, she'd call me back. She calls me back and uh, it was the nurse practitioner. And she said, all right, looking over everything, she asked me some questions about where I work. When did the fever start? I told her we're screened every day. And that it was this morning was the first fever day. Um, I can't be tested now until Friday. She said I can have a false reading because I haven't had the fever long enough. I also asked her about taking medicine. Like I don't want a fever for two days. I had too much to worry about. She said a fever, it can, be, okay, everyone reacts different and a fever can actually be healthy to sweat everything out. But obviously if you're having pain behind the eyes, delusional stuff like that, you're feeling, you know, if you're feeling to the point where you can't handle the fever, take Tylenol, um, but also document. So I've been documenting my fevers. Oh God, guys, I'm just, I feel bad for anybody who has had to go through this and my biggest stress and I'm going to be honest like my biggest stress right now is like work I feel guilty and I shouldn't feel guilty like I feel guilty that I had a fever I feel guilty that I have to wait till Friday um I, I worked out Stanley's situation we know where he's going to go um my sister's going to keep her at her significant others they're going to sleep there um, I spoke with my brother and everything, like, the family stuff is being worked out. Um, nobody can just afford to just, you know, be quarantined for two weeks. And, like, I am thinking how I feel right now. I can't do this for the next two days. Like, not only am I going to have to wait two days to be tested, but I'm going to have to wait 
the two to three days I think it is in order to get my results back so I feel guilty next week I'm supposed to have a vacation I could give a fuck less about that right now um but that does suck you know like I if I do come back positive I cannot go on vacation I have to figure out stay, oh my gosh Shanley's birth everything there's just so much um like I said, I want to document everything, everything I'm going through, um, how I'm feeling, how people are treating me, the doctors, uh, that nurse practitioner, she was lovely. She calmed me down. Um, I have spurts where I'm like, all right, I'm okay. I'm okay. The more I think about it though, it's just, it's just in my head. I, I don't know. I'm in my head and I feel very anxious. Uh, I try to come outside, put a towel down and I just try to do some deep breathing. Um, but then, you know, the phone call started. I I didn't, no one ever told me or explained to me that fever thing, which it, it makes me kind of wonder, like, how many people, like, personally, you've sent to the doctor, why aren't they talking about that stuff on the news? Um, but be 100% honest. Like, when you are calling, if you have a situation like this, be 100% transparent honest about everything um thankfully i had someone smart enough to like go over these things because if i didn't know that i i'm i would still be trying to find somewhere else to go today and then what if i had a false reading and i got sicker um half of me is like you don't have it that's crazy like but then the other half of me is like why is that crazy you've had family members get it you are around people who are probably the number one uh, most susceptible to getting COVID. I work in the drug and alcohol field, screening people daily um, where they have had fevers and had to be sent out. I know, guys, this is such a bad angle. Um, like, uh, I'm just shaking. That's my update for now. Um, I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel guilty, like, telling my boss hey, the earliest I can be tested is Friday. Um, and that shouldn't be in my head. That shouldn't be one of my worries. Um, that's one problem with my anxiety. I always worry too much. I worry like I'm letting the team down. Does everyone think, you know, I'm not really sick? Does anyone think that uh, I'm taking advantage of this? Like I, those thoughts shouldn't be there. Um, I'm always so worried about other people, and this is my problem. This is what le led me into a situation. should have been taking better care of myself. I was doing the most that I could, but I really should have been, you know. I didn't even know I had a fever, though. Like, I felt warm, but I've been having those body uh, things. Uh, another thing going through my mind is every place I've been. Um, I just keep thinking, okay, I've been at my in-laws, I have to call them. I've been here, I have to call them. I have been here. Did I touch this? And I'm, I'm just playing so much back. I'm thinking about, all right, you know, there was that week I was really achy, but I'm older. I just started um, trying different stretches with my yoga. Instead of just doing normal stretches, I'm actually trying different excuse me, positions and stuff with that. So I was like, I, I was chalking that up. So some of the achiness, um, there was like a week or two where my taste was off, but I was just thinking I was paranoid because of that's what we were being told. I don't know. That's my update for now, guys. Uh, I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. Oh, uh, right now, how I feel, um, I definitely can tell I have a fever, 100%. You know, when you, you, you feel clammy, um, I 100% I, I know I have a fever. Obviously, not only because of the temperature, just how I feel. I feel clammy feel very anxious um and it's like why why am I anxious it's being handled I think the biggest part of me being anxious right now is because I have to wait I don't like waiting I want it when it, I thought I thought I would be able to be somewhere like right away like hey I have COVID can, or hey I need to be tested for COVID can I get in and I thought it would be immediate so that's really scaring me um and I just feel anxiety that, that's it for now. Uh, I think I'm going to get in a nice cool shower and wait to hear back from the doctor because either way I need that per, I need that um, paperwork or a prescription. So I can, I think I might go to both of the places. I don't know if that's unfair. I'm seeing like, is that greedy to be tested twice? But if I get tested twice, that way 
whichever test comes back first. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I will keep you guys updated. All right, bye.